big news for the Malaysian motorcycle market as KMSB Motors has recently signed a partnership with Suzuki Motor Corporation Japan and launched a new brand called Afes. As you're probably aware, nearly all countries in Asia are dependent on motorcycles for the mobility of their citizenry. Needless to say, launching a local motorcycle brand not only makes two-wheelers more accessible, but also provides the economy with a much-needed boost. Ofes is foreseen to greatly contribute to the local manufacturing expertise of Malaysia, while at the same time providing numerous employment opportunities in the country. Malaysia's motorcycle market continues to grow, particularly in the manufacturing sector. For reference, in 2022, the country had a market size of 718,000 motorcycles. With the help of Suzuki, crucial components when it comes to the manufacturing of new two-wheelers will be supplied to Afes. The GSX R150 is one of the many popular Suzuki motorcycles in Malaysia. The launch of Afes coincides with Malaysia's announcement of the new Industrial Master Plan 2030 NIMP 2030, wherein the Prime Minister highlighted key milestones for the country's industrial sector leading up to 2030. More specifically, NIMP 2030 is meant to secure Malaysia's position as a global leader in industrial development, making it a prominent player across multiple industries. At the grand launch of the new motorcycle brand, notable figures including Prime Minister Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim, Datuk Seri Hashim Ishak, Secretary General of the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry Miti, and Datuk Waira Oram Abdul Rahman, CEO of Malaysian Investment Development Authority MIDA, graced the occasion to commemorate the birth of Afes. On the KMSB front, Group Executive Chairman Ahmad Faiz Yuhoya was also present. Notably, Suzuki Motor Corporation President Toshihiro Suzuki lent his presence to the event. This gathering marked a significant moment in the industry's landscape. At present, it has yet to be confirmed what types of motorcycles affairs will be producing. However, it's almost certain that it will be catering to the mass market segment which consists mainly of commuter scooters and utility-focused two-wheelers. The company will put up its own research, development, commercialization, and innovation RDCI initiative tailored specifically to the needs of the Malaysian market.